I'm touring a beach house in Malibu with my client, Emily. I think we should make an offer. All cash, no contingencies other than inspection. It looks like an enormous job. It is. It's going to be seventy-five to $100,000. All these items adding up, and it may really hurt the deal. I'm anxious, Valerie. Where are we? Almost wish I could tear it down and build what I want. Right. Because the property is so amazing. Yeah. My clients, Tony and Demetra, are looking for a home for between 10 to 12 million. I always look to see what I can do to change it to make it our own. I think we should wait for a little while and see if we're going to make another offer. We're less than a million dollars apart on a $10 million deal. Hopefully, they won't lose it, but you never know. Tonight I'm in Bel Air in a, one of the gated communities called Bel Air Chris. Hello. Hi. Hi Christoph. there. I'm Christoph Chu. Dimitra. Hi. Yes. Very I received a call from Dimitra Natsis. She and her husband Tony are thinking of changing their current home to a different residence. Wow, this is gorgeous. So she asked me now that we've had a couple phone conversations to actually come and meet her husband face to face and meet her face to face. What's even prompting this decision to even look for a different house? We've always wanted a lot more land, a okay. lot more space. Um, although this house is on a good piece of property, it's a tiered backyard, so there's not like a real grassy area. We're at about 8,500 square feet here, so around there, or 10,000 would be great. Another big, big thing for me is I love to decorate, but more so I like to reconstruct. I love to revamp any space, and I always look to see what I can do to change it to make it our own. We're sort of in the 8 to 12 range, okay. so all in. We're probably going to spend at least a couple million dollars fixing whatever we got. Right. And so probably can't go much above 10. And Dimitra will go in all the showings with you, and I am going to be involved in the negotiations with okay. you. I'm a real estate attorney, and I basically spend my days strategizing and negotiating on behalf of clients. And so in terms of giving me excellent advice, I expect Christoph to perform at an extremely high level. So if you do a good job, yeah. this will be your interview to determine whether you'll sell our house for us. Thank I'm you. ready to get started. Thank you Thank so, you much. so much. I look forward to it. If I can prove myself to them, it's going to be a great source of future referrals. I look forward to serving them with their needs and getting them the house that they want. I'm touring a beach house in Malibu with my client Emily today. It's a little higher in our price range. It's four million one ninety-five. The house. She really wants to stay in her two and a half to three million dollar price range because she wants to be able to add her touch to it too. Good to see you. This is Emily. Hi, Sandra Hi. Bazan, nice Coldwell Banker. Come on. And because we have sold her house in Santa Monica, Emily and her husband moved to a hotel. So I need to find her the right thing so that they have a place to go to when the kids come back from school. This is beautiful. Dramatic. I love this wide open space. Eighteen, twenty-foot ceilings. This is incredible. And this is Las Tunas Beach. This is fabulous. It's quite a large kitchen for a beach house. I'm not crazy about the colors. And that's a little concerning at this price point. Do I have some room to, to renovate? We've moved uh, 13 times in the last nine years, so I've done quite a bit of renovation. Looking for something that just is a family home where the kids can come home from college and have their own space as well. And the space is great. It just needs a facelift. And this is the master. Pretty spectacular. What a beautiful room. And this is what it's all about. Isn't it gorgeous? This is spectacular. It's beautiful. But at this price point, it's a little tough for us to put money in and renovate it to our taste. And we're living in a hotel. And although room service is nice, I'd like to try to get something underway quickly. I have a couple things in mind that are on the beach. And they need some work, so you could put your stamp on them. Great. Well, Demetra, this should be a really interesting possibility. It certainly would be a project. My clients, Tony and Demetra, are looking for a home for between 10 to 12 million. Now, this house is basically the top end of their scale. However, I do think it's got all of the ingredients on paper. Hi, Scott, how are you? How are you? Nice to see you. This see is my you. client, Demetra. So I'm hoping this house is going to fit the bill for them. Now, Demetra, this room, I think, is one of the most amazing living rooms in the entire city. I mean, look at this. Wow. this 
skylights. The skylights, the light, and look at the proportions. It's simply amazing. It's centered in the whole house. You've got all the main rooms around. And look at this amazing oh dining room. Oh my gosh. 32 seating at least. <laughs> Wait till you see this amazing kitchen. You could be here with your family and cooking and enjoying with your friends and... So far, it's, it's really a great space. Maybe the architectural part of it is gonna be a little difficult. I'm a little hesitant because it's modern. I really want to try to focus on a Tuscan Mediterranean style. So, Demetra, this is probably the biggest suite here in LA. You've got the 180 degree views. I mean, this is just stunning. And wait till you get a load of how cool this is. Oh my Isn't gosh. Fun? So you open your glass doors and you're on, you know, the highest promontory wow. in Bel Air. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if the interior space will work for our family. Okay. Almost wish it was cheaper and I could just tear it down and build what I want. Right. Because the property is so amazing. Yeah. So this was our first time looking at a house. Now we have a much better picture of what she likes, what she doesn't like, and how they want to live. They're asking 2495, which is an amazing price. It's four bedrooms, four and a half baths. So we've come here today to look at a duplex on Pacific Coast Highway. I think might be perfect for Emily. They're asking 2495, which is an amazing price. It's four bedrooms, four and a half baths. My client Emily's staying in a hotel, so I need to find her something right away. So we've come here today to look at a duplex on Pacific Coast Highway. I think might be perfect for Emily. You like the kitchen open to the living space usually. Now that's really nice, but we could take this all out, make it white. I think taking out this carpet, putting in hardwood. So then you've got the stone work and sort of this gorgeous ocean view. Wow, look, look at, at that. this view. The deck space is amazing. The dolphins out there. Yeah, dolphins, sea This lines. is awesome. Exactly. Yeah. And this is into the master, which has the big sliding glass doors to the terrace, which is really oh, that's what so you want. nice. And then over here is the master bathroom. It's pretty dark, but I think you could, you know, again, you could change this, right? Yeah, Lighten yeah. it up. I like to renovate. So the idea, it doesn't intimidate me. I understand the work and it's fun. So this is the lower duplex and it's two bedrooms, two baths. I would like to look at maybe trying to figure out how we connect the two units though. So it is one home. I mean, I think you're gonna be a little surprised at the size of this bedroom. All the teenagers could be here all summer. All of them. They, they would never leave. Maybe that's not a good thing. <laughs> If we do combine it into one home, what, what's the value? I think overall, with your taste and your eye, this property could be worth $4 million when you finish doing it. I think we should make an offer. I think 2-2, two, two, all cash, quick close, no contingencies other than inspection. All I'm right, excited. Get it done. For me to go into 2-2, two, two, might be a little difficult to get the seller to agree, but I think with terms of all cash and a quick escrow, that might make the difference. Even though it's at the top end of the budget of 12 and a half, it's been on the market nine months without an offer. We're here today in a gated community called Bel Air Place. Hopefully, we can make a deal that will meet Tony's financial requirements. Hi, Sally, how are you? Hi, Chris. Thanks for letting us see the house. And still have the money that they want to do the renovations and the remodeling that she wants to do. This beautiful foyer, which is very grand, and you wanted a grand house to entertain. Yeah, it's really, look at really this dining room to entertain it. I mean, this is wow. absolutely stunning. If you open up some walls, you might be able to make it a huge entertainment area. I do a lot of renovations. Every opportunity I get, I try to find nooks and crevices to redo things. Oh, I could see where this could just open up and have it like a great room. A lot of the things I loved about the house is the size of the property. I love the grandness of it. Um, it's got great bones. So I'm very excited that maybe we can do something with this piece of property. This entire half side of the upstairs wow. is the master suite. It's huge. And it's huge. Amazing views. Oh my gosh. And you can look at the whole motor court and the pool pavilion. It's absolutely beautiful. I think this is really one of my favorite areas of the house. The symmetrical design, the proximity to the house. Yeah, no, this is beautiful. I want to call Tony. 
Mitra loves it. The only problem being now is it's twelve and a half million dollars, and she now wants to spend two million or so to redo this house. Okay, listen, I have found a spectacular place. I want to make an offer on it. I haven't seen it. I know you haven't seen it, but I think there's a lot of potential. You got to put first off on the phone. As a broker, I know what something is really worth, but ultimately, it's worth what the buyer is willing to pay. And you think it's worth what? I think it's worth about ten million, a little bit over ten. Well, what I'd like to do then is offer them like eight three, and we're going to have to really be strenuous about it though, because it's not probably the start of something that will happen very quickly at a low price. Demetri, we're going to make an offer. Very excited. <laughs> so next step right now is I go to go back to the office. We got to put the terms together, get it signed, and get that presented to the owners. Waiting for some news. I'm anxious, Valerie. And where are we? So you know we started at two million two hundred thousand, and I've got them down to two million three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Let's assume I put three hundred thousand in in renovations. Well, let me ask you this: If this house were done, completely renovated and beautiful, drop dead gorgeous at two seven, wouldn't you buy it then? I would. It's a thirty day escrow. Okay. And we'll have to do some inspections, as you know. And after you do your renovations, you're going to have an amazing home. We can get in there in 30 days. I can start the renovation. That's fabulous. Let's pull the trigger. Yay. Thank you. Yeah. We'll be doing yeah, this yeah. on the beach. I think this is fantastic. We have inspections left to do, and hopefully that is not a big issue. And then I want to get rolling. I know we've been negotiating for three weeks. Well, we have another counter. Well, after negotiating with Tony Dimitra with the listing agent on the Vista Moraga house, they've already brought the price down by $2 million. I'm really hopeful that today we can bridge the gap between 10.5 million and 9.6 and get them their home. A couple days ago, we gave a counter of 10.5 and we upped our offer once again. We came back at 10.5 again. You and I have discussed before that there's a difference between what the house might be worth and what I'm willing to pay for. Exactly. And I'm not anywhere close to 10.5. I think we should wait for a little while and see if we're gonna make another offer. I'm a little bit nervous about Tony wanting to stop the deal because we're kind of in a stalling phase right now. There's always a chance we may lose this house. If that happens, are you guys okay with it? Not okay. I am. At this price at 10.5. No. Absolutely. Yeah. He'll either find someone for 10.5, congratulations, or he'll come to a different number with us, which is probably more in line with what we think the house is worth. Maybe we should just explore a couple other properties. Who knows, you might find something you like better. You know, we're only a few hundred thousand dollars apart. And I've always said to a client, if you find a house you love, don't ever lose a house for 10% of the deal. So hopefully they won't lose it, but you never know. I have an accepted offer on this beach duplex, and we're here to do inspections for my client, Emily Callan. You can see some deflection here in the floor as well. your inspection opinions about I have an accepted offer on this beach duplex and we're here to do inspections for my client Emily Callan. You can see some deflection here in the floor as well. Deflection is when the structure is moving because of a foundation or similar support issue. So we have a flexible gas log lighter that runs through the fireplace which is not legal running into the wall. The only way to fix that is to tear out this whole side of the fireplace. You're looking between $15,000 $20,000. We have all these weld issues. We have railings that need to be either replaced with stainless steel or heavily reworked and costs seven, ten thousand dollars right, One of the potential problems here at the beach is the corrosion factor. What's that? A hole up into the house? Yeah. The moisture accumulates and just rots away everything else up here. But these are the areas that I'm really concerned about more than anything else. The, the heavy corrosion and the diagonal supports. The seawall itself is way under designed. You get a little water behind here, and the weight of the water is going to wash this thing right out. It looks like an enormous job. It is. It's going to be somewhere seventy-five to one hundred thousand dollars. And all these items adding up to probably one hundred and thirty, one hundred and forty thousand dollars, and it may really hurt the deal. Hey, Emily. How did it go? Probably one of the more difficult ones that that I've had. Okay. He said the fireplace needed some work, and we went under the house. He said that's probably going to amount to somewhere between one hundred and thirty to one hundred and forty thousand dollars. 
Well, that's crazy. I didn't expect that. I'm going to go back and see what I can negotiate to get us a credit for all this. Okay, well, from what you're telling me, I, I think we need to at least get 100 grand back. Emily said, bottom line, bottom line, that it's got to be 100, or we might lose the sale. Oh, this is nice. It is totally done, and I know you want a project, but okay. for your lifestyle, you could add some rooms and still put your stamp on it. Since Tony decided to stop negotiating on the Vista Moraga house, I